Hello guys, welcome to Chinta School of Statistics and Data Science. And now I will discuss on how to prepare for IIT Jam MS in the last two months. So uh, the background behind me making this video is this: is that after giving a mock test, students have asked lots of questions on preparation, and I think it's high time that I should address that to you, to all the people out there who, who are preparing for IIT Jam MS. So I'm Srijit Mukherjee and I'm one of the faculty at Chinda and I'll be helping out in this process. Uh, it's a bit long, so bear with us. Thank you. So let's get started, guys. Um, so there are a lot, lot of interesting steps that you may not have heard before and that are totally new. And these are the things that I'm implementing for the last few months and years for my preparation in any general examination. And I have modified it to the IIT MMS. So let's get started. Uh, so number one is that, okay, yeah. So number one is that let's see the timeline, okay? The timeline of how you're going to approach this. First, it's like in the last two months I have told, right? So the, therefore I expect you to know the topics in the, till the last three months or the last two months, at least in the last two months, all the topics or other the topics of like Jiska mock test you're giving, okay? So you should be knowing that, learning that topic very well, okay? After that, you measure your progress because you sh cannot know whether you have learned or not without measuring your progress. And that's why mock tests and exams really help. And mock tests, I think is something uh, that is akin to the exam. So I think you should give that in the last three months, not before that, then it can be a bit of overwhelming for you. So give mock tests. So learn the topics, then give the mock tests. And then you, I will tell you some concept that I've made for you based on the examination purposes, build your fundamental metrics. And I will show it to you what it is. And I will also show you how to build your own stuff. I have something for you here, some gift for you. And then you have to take action accordingly. And then you have to prepare for the examinations. So this is super exciting. Like I have been super excited to build this for you. So I hope it will be super exciting to learn it also from your end. Uh, so the new things that you will learn is how to build your fundamental matrix and how to take action. I have helped the students to build their own fundamental matrix and help them take action and your results have improved. That's why I am so excited to share the ideas over here. So let's get started. The next one. So first step is I like, told is learning. Okay, so learning includes your books. Uh, you can you need to solve problems. So we have books, suggestion as books of suggestion on our website from our end, from the ends of the achievers. So you can check their, their like suggestions, our suggestions. For solving problems, we solve a solve problem a day. So if you join our WhatsApp group, that will be really helpful for you because we regularly give problems and discuss them. And coaching, uh, coaching really accelerates the process of learning. That, for, that is why what I believe and uh, you can also do it with experimentation on your own, in your own way. So that needs a little more of time with coaching. It will accelerate the process. That's it. There's no other difference. You can also do it yourself. And mock tests, mock tests are super important, I guess. And you can give it uh, like anywhere, uh, like even you can create your own mock test and give it. So that's not an issue, but you have to give mock tests because you need to measure your progress. Okay. So exam, like there's two different ideas. An exam is different from solving problems at home. And I, I will show it next slide why it is. So first step is that you must be comfortable with these ideas that you must learn yourself and you must mock test, like mock testify, I should say, like you should measure your progress where you're standing. So both of these impo are important. The first two steps that I told. And you can give it anywhere you want to, according to your choice. And you can do any, you can explain out here according to your choices. I just told you how we can help you. The next part is that, I will tell you like why we have made the mock test structure as we have made. And so the first one is mathematics one because that's the earliest thing that we teach. And then probability one, and then mathematics two, then probability two, then statistics one, and statistics. So just like in the way we have learned the whole, we, we are teaching the whole topics. Uh, and then there are full mock tests. Uh, so what I suggest is the following, which I will tell in the later slides. What to do after each of the mock tests, if you're giving it in our place or any other place, you should be knowing what to do. What's the best strategy out there? 
So you should create something called fundamental discovery matrix. What is this fundamental discovery matrix? It's something that helps you. It's like, you know, it's sword analysis, like it's your strength and weakness analysis. And how do you, how do you know, how do your strength and weakness analysis help, help you in the exam? How do you think, what happens when you know this? I will tell you, okay? I will tell you, and I have helped the students make this. So I know it's pretty easy and I've made it easier for you because I made something for you. So number one is that you should build your matrix. How do you build it? So in an exam, there are two dimensions. One dimension is you can see on the left, right? Like Y axis, it's time taken on the Z axis. It's the proficiency of your exam, like, you know, knowledge. And time taken is like, you may know a topic, but you are taking much more time. An example is integral calculus. It's usually lengthy. So because you have to do integrations a lot of time, multivariate probabilities involve a lot of integration. So maybe you're, you know, you know the theory well, you know the integration well, but you cannot really apply it takes time. So you have to identify those. So we have three dimensions. One is we need taking, you're really good at it and you're taking less time. That's why it's your strength is, okay? So that's the red region over here. Then we have your proficiency is really high, but you're taking time also is high. So that's the solve more, get better part. And your weakness is that you don't know it. That is your proficiency is low and also your time taken is high. That's the weak point. And that's where your weakness is. So what will like, you have to discover this first, okay? And that's super important. So now I will show you, I have made something for you, how to help you discover that. So the question is that, how do I select the topics? Like what topics are you should select? You should see the baseline dimension, linear transformation, sequence series, differential calculus, integral calculus. So how do you select this? So I will, I, have, I will share with you this set of topics that I have made for you. And I will sh share this Excel sheet with you where you can make your own stuff. So this is an example of it where uh, all the topics are given and you can mark your proficiency high and low and automatically it will give you the overall status. So let's, let's see this in action, okay? Let's see this in action and I will share a different screen with you now. Okay, I hope the screen is changed and here is your fundamental matrix. So if you see it over here, so here is all the, here are all the topics, okay? I have written that we have used to create the mock test, okay? So I think you can, like, you know, you can really use this for your own preparation. I have given it, like, we have given, we have given it for you for free. So what I need to do is that you need to open this up. I will give the link in the YouTube comments. And you open it up and you open it in Google Drive. You open your Google Drive, you will see this. And what you do is you make a copy of it, right? Click on it. You make a copy of it, okay? And then making a copy of it, you can edit it because it's in view version, you will get it. And after editing it, you change your name over here and you write your name over here and all the topics are given over here. So only after giving the mock test, you come to this. Don't be, not before that, because you don't know that you may be knowing the proficiency of yours, but you don't know the time dimension because you will only know it when you have the mock test. So go to the mock, give the mock test and come over here and you select the proficiency level. Okay, so let's say you select the proficiency level to be high and you select your time dimension to be high. So it's solve more. So you can see automatically it gets changed. It changes, okay? If it's low, it's all going to go to strength. If this is high, uh, proficiency is low and time taken is low, it's weakness, of course. Like, And time taken is high, it's also weakness. So whatever proficiency is low, it's weakness. That's it. So it's a weakness and you have to measure, like you have to Im improve upon it. That's it. You have to improve upon it. And uh, after this, you will be getting this uh, matrix of yours, your fundamental matrix, discovery matrix, where you have discovered your strengths and weaknesses and where you have to solve more. So I will show an example of our students. I've helped her build that. So let me show that to you. Um, so he is one of our students and I've helped her build that and let's see. And if you can see that all our strengths and weaknesses are given over here, okay? And uh, it will change over time. As you give more mock tests, it will change over time. That's best. And the best thing is that it will only contain strength and solve more. Okay. Weaknesses are bad, but it's good to have weaknesses because I will tell you a big, a few weaknesses are good, but not too much of weaknesses are good. So you have to change it to strength and solve more part. So whatever, it's your personal choice, but unless you take the, you know, the mock test, you cannot, cannot, cannot get this 
X, like, you know, this strength, weakness, and solve mode analysis of yours, where you are standing. It's a competition versus you and you. You are getting better, not with you and others. Remember that. That's why I made these things for you. And let's go back to the next part. So here is your, like, you make this, you make this, like, you know, uh, matrix of yours. You get this matrix where you get all the analysis of all your sequence, like all your topics and where you're lacking, where you're not lacking. And you will only understand after giving the mock test and repeating again and again. So give the mock test. That's the first step. And then what do you do? Then for the weaknesses, you read more theory and make chitchats. Okay, just give me a minute. So yeah, for your weaknesses, make read the theory and make a chit chat of ideas. I will tell you how to make a chit chat. I will give an example to you. And for solve more and get better part, you solve more problems and focus on the chit chat. And for the strengths, you solve again more problems and don't get a work on me. That's a very, like, people get complacent and make mistakes. So don't do that. These are the guide metrics that are your mental models that you should be doing. Now, what I suggest, I will go back to this. You give the math mock test one and you make a cheat sheet of ideas that are important. That you think, and then you get a solution from us, you get the ideas that are important, make a cheat sheet that you're missing. Okay, the ideas that you're missing, make a cheat sheet of all the ideas that are important, that you are given in a solution. And you're missing that. That's important. So make all this list. That's a more, that's chit chit. That is super important. That's why your weakness is. Okay. That's why your weakness is. You read the theory, you make a chit chit. You can also make the chit chit, like make minimum length chit chit. I will show you a 10 page probability chit chit that the best probability chit chit I have ever had. I never know. And it's super good. It's in fact, it's less than 10 pages. So make a full chit chit. So what do you do? How do the cheat sheets help? The cheat sheets will help when you give the full mock test. So make sure you make the cheat sheets. So after giving the six exams, you make cheat sheets of mathematics, probability, and statistics. And make sure you don't read anything except the cheat sheets before the full exam. That will make a, that will make a habit of yours before you give the examination, final examination. Just look into the cheat sheets. That's it. And your strengths and weaknesses. I will come to that again. So you make the cheat sheet. That's super important. Let me show you an example of the cheat sheet. So make your cheat sheet. That's the first step. Make, make your cheat sheets, focus on the cheat sheets, cheat sheets. Okay, it's like a tongue crystal for me. <laughs> so make your cheat sheet. So it's an example of a cheat sheet. The cheat sheet is by Blitzstein, okay? You know, it's like, we follow his book. It's super beautiful book of probability. And I will show you how the cheat sheet looks like. It's super beautiful. I, here is a cheat sheet. Here is his cheat sheet, okay? You can see it, I hope. And here's the entire cheat sheet of Blitzstein of the like entire probability cheat sheet is there. I will uh, like give the link of the cheat sheet. You can use the cheat sheet even in your, there are a lot of more stuff like Poinshaw process and other stuff, Markov chain, which are not important, but this cheat sheet is super. It's just super, A class. So make sure cheat sheet doesn't extend, like, you know, go beyond 10 pages with this font because it's super important to be very precise, okay? Otherwise, like in, before exam, you have to read 10 page, 30 pages of revision. That's it. Not the entire 200 pages notes. Okay. That's why cheat sheets are important. Cheat sheets are important just to revise before your exam day. That's it. And that's what you will practice before the mock, full mock tests. Okay. That's the first step. Okay. Coming back to this. So yeah, I have shown you how to make the cheat sheet, right? I have shown you how to make the cheat sheet and so let me revise it once again. You give the mock test, you make the cheat sheet, okay? And so make a cheat sheet, make the theory and make the cheat sheet if it's a weakness. If, you, if it's your solve more, get better part, you need to solve more and more and more and more problems. There's no other way. And focus on the theory of cheat sheet. And if it's your strength, just solve more problems and just don't get overcome. Now I have told you, I promise you that how this will help in your examination. That I will tell you now. And this is something important. So what do you do in examination now? So this is the idea. So in the examination, always attempt your strengths first. Okay, so when you get the question, but you get 60 questions. This will come like I will give the fun, like the most important tips of the whole thing towards the end. And you get the solve it first. 
the strength so you get 60 questions you mark the 60 questions or whatever you like i will a subset of it i will tell you how to select that subset mark that 60 questions according to your strength weaknesses and solve more part so usually the strengths will be more if you're good prepared so remember the weaknesses and the solve more part so it will be less in number i guess because like it's like complementing counting so you remember your weaknesses and solve more part and whatever is not your weaknesses and solve more part solve it first give one take to that whatever is the solve more part that is the strength ka, strength ka give one tick whenever you get an exam in an examination if it's your solve more part get two ticks and don't tempt the weakness part that will just waste your time okay this is a strategy we'll take in the examination it's super beautiful and super useful I mean, i'm guaranteeing you okay and the final few tips for you as you know 16 percent is a very sweet spot which doesn't determine whether you will become first in iit jam iit jam but it will make sure that okay, you have a very good chance of doing well. And that's how we are training our students. Aim for 60%. Now, let's see how the 60% aiming mental attitude really changes the game for you. So let's say you have 60 questions in an IITJ, IIT jam examination, you have 180 minutes. So per question, you have three minutes, right? 180 by 60. Now, if you aim for 60%, that turns out to be 36 questions for 180 minutes in 180 minutes. So you have five minutes for each problem. You see how it happens. Helps. So you aim that you will do the 60, 36 questions fully correct. And you have three or five minutes for it. That's a lot of time for IT jam problems. Okay, so you change from three minutes to five minutes. This is the best. So first complete the 36 questions. So now you have, you know, I have told you that so among this 36 questions, you have to select all of them among your strength and solve more part, not in your weakness part. So make sure at least 60% is in your strength part. That's the best idea. So make sure you select 36 questions at least from your strength, strength part. And the rest solve more and weakness part. The rest of the 24 questions. Okay. So make sure that happens. 36 questions, strength part. So mark your strength one tick. Select the 36 question at least, strength part. And then double tick for your solve more and don't attend the weakness part. Okay. It enhances your time, five minutes. Once you end the 36 questions, strength and you know it's correct so make sure you do the problem so that you don't have to revise because revising time you will not get so make sure they do the 36 questions with five minutes full focus and you do it correctly be full confident and then after the 36 questions if you have time left go for the solve more part not the weakness part and that will automatically take your time away okay this is the start this should be the strategy and this has been like i've discovered it through lots of experiment talking to the students hundreds of students and, and like you know it's like a really discovery for me and for the students and i hope it will help the students. I, it has helped the students. I can I can tell you with hundred percent probability. So aim for sixty percent instead of so therefore thirty six questions five minutes. Mark them strength, mark the strengths, and then the solve more, and then the, we don't attempt the weaknesses. And how do you select that which is which which is your less time and like after doing the mock test, which is your less time and how how proficient? You know proficiency because you know yourself best. And how to like select the time high if it takes more than six minutes then it, that means it, your time is taking high so if it's you know three to five minutes it's like really good if it's less than three minutes that's super good you know this three minutes five minutes from this you know calculation only so these are the strategies that i have for you chinta has for you and i hope it helps you if you have any other doubts regarding your preparation feel free to ask in the comments do share this, subscribe to our channel and share this with your friends. And I believe it will help all the students out there for ID MMS, preparing for IDMS. So we'll build a similar stuff for ISIM start and similar to science. So stay tuned and stay blessed and all the best for your examination. If you have not joined a WhatsApp group, do join the WhatsApp group and that's it. Thank you and bye-bye. See you soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Bye-bye.